Hey Luke here with the Cats and Carp YouTube channel and we are doing another fishing rod review video. In fact, this week, for the next seven days, every day I am going to post a rod review video. So one video every day. So buckle up, we're about to talk about cat fishing rods. Okay, today we're reviewing the Berkley Glow Stick. This rod is $49.99. This is the medium heavy action, eight foot, two piece rod. It's got a plastic reel seat. It's got a foam handle that's uh, pretty nice. It's got this two tone color where the top piece is kind of glow in the dark and the bottom piece is uh, a matte gray color. It's got pretty normal eyelets with the little uh, alkanite inserts. And I've got the spinning rod version. What makes this rod unique is that it glows in the dark. There's a light inside, inside the second half of the rod, the top piece, and there's a button on the butt section of the rod. You unscrew the end cap, it exposes a little button, you can click that on and off, and you can unscrew the button to expose a AAA battery. So this works good in principle. When I first bought the rod, you turn it on, it would glow. It wasn't particularly bright. You could barely tell whether it was on or off in the daylight. And at night it was, it was visible. You could see it, but not from any great distance. Uh, the problem is that I've had this rod for only a couple months now, and I've taken it out one time and it's already broken. I cannot get the light to turn on for nothing. I mean, it just doesn't work. And I've tried new batteries and everything. So we, you know, that's kind of a big disappointment. And I've heard complaints from other people that they've had problems with the electronics in this as well. All right, so the Berkley Glow Stick has a pretty nice action to it. It's got a, uh, a through action. It, it bends all the way into the blanks handle. Um, so it's a, a nice soft rod. You can really uh, feel the play and bend of the, of the rod. It's similar to the Rip and Lips rod, which also, has a very a, uh, soft through action. So these are both uh, two rods with very similar actions. The similarities also continue from there. They're both designed for about 20 to 30 pound line, and they're both designed to throw about one to four ounces of lead and bait. So very similar in their performance. The Berkley Glow Stick is just half a foot longer. Additionally, the Berkley Glow Stick is a thicker, beefier rod. Side by side, you can see it quite clearly that the, the rip and lips is much thinner blank. It also has that split handle and it's just lighter. I like the Berkley Glow Stick. It's got some great features. I like the action, I like the length, I like the handle. But the biggest problem with the Glow Stick is the rip and lips rod. This rod is extremely similar. Its feel, its action, its stats are all pretty similar but this is $39.99 and the glow stick is $49.99. So you're paying $10 more to have a rod with electronics in it so it glows in the dark. And those electronics are sketchy and they break. So I would rather take the $40 rip and lips rod and go buy some glow in the dark paint or a bite alarm or glow sticks or the Team Catfish glow wraps and have those on a rip and lips rod instead of paying $10 more and having electronics built in to the glow stick rod. The Berkley glow stick is really designed for night fishing for catfish in moderate to light current. So if you're fishing in a lake or a small river or in a still river, um, this will work pretty decent. It'll get you some good distance for those smaller leads. But if you wanna fish a big river like the Mississippi or the Ohio or the Potomac and you're fishing in a spot with a lot of current, you're gonna need bigger leads than four ounces and this isn't gonna uh, throw those very effectively. Um, obviously it's designed for night fishing and you could use this on a boat, but the eight feet is a little bit longer than I usually like to use on boats. And uh, frankly, if you can afford a boat, you'll probably want to buy a little bit nicer rod. But for bank fishermen in moderate current, this thing's uh, right up your alley. I've got this 20 pound bucket here and uh, we're gonna kind of give you a chance to see how the rod performs when it's really loaded up. So uh, 
lit. Well, you can see there the rod broke just above the ferrule and the fiberglass is pretty thin. It looks like it's solid fiberglass, but it's not. That's just silicone uh, rubber to protect the electronics in there. It's a surprisingly thin rod. And you can see I got the bucket, it was kind of lifting up at the corners. So it was probably about 15, 18 pounds of pressure where this rod broke. So that tells you a couple things. First off, you can still land a 30, 40 pound catfish with 15 to 18 pounds of drag. That's easy. I mean, you don't use 20 pounds of drag on a 20 pound catfish. That's not how it works. But what it does tell you is you shouldn't be pairing this rod with high performance reels. This Okuma Trios 55S can generate 28 pounds of drag. Okay? This rod can't handle anywhere near 28 pounds of drag, so you're just asking to bust your rod, or you're gonna underutilize your reel. So instead, buy a cheaper reel that doesn't have as much drag, and then that'll be a good match. So you want a reel with about 15 to 18 pounds of drag maximum. Okay, we gotta be fair to the Berkeley Glow Stick. I've made a big deal about how I think the Rip and Lips is a comparable rod. Let's see if the Rip and Lips can lift a 20 pound bucket. It might go flying. Come on. There it is, it's off the ground. Oh! Oh, <laughs> Oh, I broke it. Oh my gosh. All right, so what we found out is that the Rip and Lips is just slightly stronger than the Berkley Glow Stick, but very comparable rods. The Berkley Glow Stick and the Rip and Lips are extremely similar. Well, at any rate, I hope you enjoyed this review and learned something new. If you want to learn more about catfishing rods and see more great reviews, don't forget we're putting out one new review every day this week. And on Sunday, we'll be giving away some awesome prizes. So keep watching throughout the week for information on how to win. Also, I'll put a link in the description for more information about these rods and other review videos from the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel. So don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos multiple times a week. I think I might have voided my warranty though. I don't think they're gonna send me a new one. <laughs>